welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jade, also known as Jadey Lady 180. In today's video, we are going to be doing a first impressions of the brand new skincare collection from Laura Mercier, and we're also going to be doing a tutorial on this glowy glass natural skin look. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first, I'm starting off with the soothing eye makeup remover to get rid of any unwanted eye makeup. So this formula is a combination of water-based cleanser as well as oils that even removes waterproof makeup. Next I'm going to be trying the conditioning cleansing oil. I personally am a fan of oil-based cleansers because I love how they dissolve makeup very effectively, but they also leave a really nice hydration to the skin, and I have very dehydrated skin, so I'm always looking for anything that moisturizes and plumps it up. So this has a blend of seven different natural oils, and it definitely feels very soft on the skin, not super greasy, but I'm excited to see how it feels when I remove it. I just removed and it definitely left my skin feeling buttery smooth. Okay, you guys all know when it comes to skincare, my favorite step is always exfoliation. So I was really excited to see what the Refining Cream Polish is all about. So I'm just going to use a little bit because it's about for this first time. And we're going to mix it with a little bit of water. My immediate first impression is I really love the cellulose microbeads. I can feel that they are very gentle on the skin. These definitely feel like they are very non-abrasive and lightly scrubbing away that top unwanted dead skin layer. But this is a polish I would definitely suggest not to use every single day. You can add it in if you are new to exfoliation. Two times a week would be good at first. I always like to get these areas definitely where the t-zone is because that's where I get a lot of buildup and I love to exfoliate before I'm doing any you know glam look because I feel like my pores really stick out when I don't get rid of that dead skin layer so this is gonna help everything look more smooth and refined okay my skin is definitely feeling very clean after those three products even my pores they feel smoother so I really love that now we are going to move on to a little face massage using the Nourish and Rose Oil and I'm super excited to try this and I definitely feel face oil is an essential step in any balanced skincare routine. I know that it's personally my favorite step, so let's apply. So the key ingredients in this oil are kukui, rose, and macadamia seed oils that are said to add plumping and hydrating effects to the skin. And I love to massage my oils in for a few minutes to ensure that the product has enough time to penetrate and work its magic. And for an extra little added luxurious step, I'm going to be using my rose quartz rollers. This also helps to press the oil into the skin, and it just feels so good because I keep these in my little fridge, so they are really cooling and deep prepping. Okay, I definitely feel like I have a very youthful looking glow going on after that massage. And now I'm going to lock in all that hydration with the Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. So let's give this a try. I also love that the scents are very natural, it's not overpowering, they smell very fresh. This is formulated with antioxidants, marine complex and vitamin-rich black tea ferment. After this, my skin definitely feels like it is prepped and ready for makeup. Okay, next I'm going to be applying the Illuminating Eye Cream. So this definitely looks like a very rich formula. 
but when I'm applying it, it feels more on the lightweight side, which is what I like when it comes to eye creams because I hate when it's too heavy under there. So I'm excited to see how my makeup layers on top of this. But this area is so important to take care of because it's so delicate and it also can show signs of aging very fast. So always remember to wear your eye cream, even if you're not even leaving the house. This is infused with violet pearl and green coffee seed oil, which are great ingredients to brighten and plump those under eyes. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna be prepping my lips with the hydrating lip balm, and I am a lip balm junkie, so let's see what this looks like. Yes. Super buttery, super soft, creamy. This feels so good. Okay, so that is a first look at the new skincare collection from Laura Mercier. I'm going to go ahead and move on to do my last skin tutorial, but I just wanted to say, so far with my first impressions, I would say these are my two favorite from the collection. The lip balm feels absolutely amazing, and the oil, I just feel like it gave me such a dewy complexion, and I love that. So I'm going to try this a couple more times and I'll let you guys know what I think on my stories. I'm such a big fan of her products, so I'm super excited to try these out. And I love that she's always been such an advocate for healthy skin. I actually met her in New York and we really bonded with our makeup history and just love for skincare. So I definitely can trust that these products were created with the utmost detail and care. So now I'm going to be showing you how I do my glassy natural makeup tutorial for an everyday glow. This is something that I wear honestly daily. Recently I haven't been wearing much makeup. I probably would just do this, my eyebrows, lash extensions, and then just full skin. But when I want a little bit of color to my cheeks, this is exactly what I do. Okay, now I'm going to be applying the Tinted Moisturizer. I love this because it has SPF 30, so it's going to protect us as well as give us a little bit of coverage. I don't want too much coverage though. I've been lately wanting to see the texture of my skin. So just that under the eyes, I'm going to be using my favorite. This is the Translucent. And I'm just going to powder right under the eyes where I crease a little bit so that I can make sure that it stays all day. I haven't even been wearing powder that much lately, only under the eyes, because I really want the luminosity of all of those skincare products that I put on to shine underneath that SPF. I've been obsessed with cheek stain or just any type of cream blush lately for the cheeks, and I'm using this one called Petal Poppin. It's just a really nice peachy pink. For the glow, we already have a lot of natural skin glow that's beaming underneath, but I'm going to just apply a little bit more on the highest points of my cheeks. I'm going to be using the Skin Gloss from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the shade Golden Dew. As you can see, I haven't even contoured my nose. I don't know who I am anymore. I used to be obsessed with like the really heavy contour everything. And lately, I mean, I feel like it's definitely because I've become more comfortable in my own skin, mentally, physically, emotionally. And so it's allowed me to not really want to do all those contouring techniques. And I've been loving the no contour look, just very, very natural and subtle. Okay, now I'm gonna add just a little bit of brown liner to the outer corner. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of inner corner highlight. This shade is called Pearl. And lastly, we're gonna finish off this look with this really pretty mauve nudish lip shade. This is called Vibe, and I love it because it's very natural which I feel like is the vibe of this whole look. Okay, my loves, this is the finished glass skincare look. I hope you really enjoyed this first impressions video as well as this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be part of the Skin Junkie crew. Love you guys so much.